Fiberglass for RVs really starts off with the basics of composites, and that's for the first uh, two hours of the course, and the rest of the class is hands-on. This course gives them the confidence they need to complete those portions that are built uh, with composite materials. Yeah, I'm currently building an RV8 at, at home, and I'm just up to this point of uh, needing to do the fiberglass work and the canopy work, so this, uh, this class was a perfect fit. We worked in building a, a, a fairing for a landing gear to fuselage fairing, starting with uh, using uh, mold and, and building the mold up from there. We also uh, worked on doing the transition from the windshield down into the forward fuselage, which is always a uh, tough spot to do. And then repairs, the, the, some minor repairs on a, a gear leg. So one of the major uh, projects they have to do uh, when they're working with the RV is finish off a transition area between the forward of the section of the fuselage onto the windshield area. And they need to make this fairing here, and it's all done from scratch. They actually have to use composite materials to do something that looks, you know, finishes, finishes up the transition area and make it look like this. One of the challenges with owning uh, an aircraft is eventually it may get damaged, and what we do is we have this mock-up of a wheel pant, and we physically drill a hole right into it. And afterwards, we show the proper techniques on how to repair the hole, how to finish it off, and get it back into a primer stage where they can put some finishing paint on it. I own a RV-8A and uh, it was built uh, about 17 years ago and I fly it almost every day if I can. So one of the primary reasons I took this class is kind of a refresher and to find out what's new and available as far as fiberglass repair is concerned. The biggest thing I got out of it is uh, I think an in increase in my skill level. I'm very proud of the projects that I finished. Uh, I thought I did excellent uh, work. I really. Um, have a lot more confidence in what I can do now. People who take the fiberglass for RVs course are people who are building RV aircraft. But we also get, I would say a third of them are also building some other type of metal aircraft and they want to know the procedures and the best practices to work with these materials to complete their aircraft. So it's even though it's entitled fiberglass for RVs, it really applies to other types of metal aircraft. We also have the uh, composite aircraft construction course, and that's really uh, primarily for people who are building composite aircraft or really want to create things out of composites. Well, the challenges are uh, having never done it before, so everything is a process. So up here, uh, they explain the process to you from beginning to end, and then we can get it accomplished within two days, and now I can go back home and pretty much uh, build a... Uh, a component and have it done right the first time and not have to do it more than once. I think the biggest thing that I'll take is, uh, is an understanding of all the different systems and a confidence to be able to talk with other builders and, and understand what they're doing. Mm -hmm.